You guys will not believe what the new Manila Bay is gonna look like. I have two videos in this um, compilation and reaction video because I want to show you what our modern Manila can become. And it's unbelievable. It's breathtaking. Grabe dalaga, ang ganda. Now the only question is how long time is it gonna take before this is gonna happen? We know that Mel Madaming ano, bago sa city of Manila, dun sa city hall, sa Lawton, sa Pinondo. Kaso ito is a reclamation area and it's one of the largest reclamation projects in the entire world. No? It's just amazing. So I want to show you first the video where we got a few of the people from the company talking about this and then there's another video I found online as well so you're gonna have both of them so that you can really see what this project is really about okay guys let's get started okay new manila bay city of pearl project owner is the city of manila okay wow stunning huh city of pearl city of pearl is a visionary new integrated CBD in the heart okay. of Manila, a city within a city, a revolutionary, self-sustaining, smart community beyond any international benchmarks today, redefining the Pearl of the Orient. New Manila Bay, City of Pearl, is located at the heart of Manila, a shining jewel yes. in the ocean. So that's a Manila Bay, now look at that area. The city is connected via a main boulevard with a loop road network with advanced driverless wow. railway system circulating throughout the wow. entire district. The inner ring features the central park and golf course, while the outer ring looks out onto a breathtaking panoramic ocean view. Uh, yeah. Water taxis connect Water the taxis? north and south islands to other districts in wow. Manila. Forging an international community with commercial, residential, convention, ah, healthcare, okay. tourism, education, and sports hubs. A true Asian metropolis. Designed to become the first smart city in Southeast Asia, with artificial intelligence integrated into the smart grid, providing real-time optimal efficiency. Centered around sustainable Looks design, amazing, no? using renewable energy like solar and tidal power to ensure tidal effective power. energy production and consumption. Oh. Empowering walkable city. Guarantees 20 minutes targeted travel time. Reducing district's car usage, yes. the main boulevard. Elevated rail and water taxis provide multiple transportation oh. channels to resolve traffic congestions, ensuring 30 huh? minutes travel to the airport. That sounds unbelievable. The 10 kilometer waterfront promenade surrounds the entire island. Combining sea view frontage with ah, green open spaces. That's so beautiful. Iconic so skyscrapers, nice. cluster of grade A commercial, wow. convention, five star hotel and retail wow. property, all synergize to create a new CBD stadium. The three kilometer themed riverside shopping street. Three kilometer the Central shopping? Park redefines community retail experience with revolutionary entertainment concepts. Pac-Man Stadium, an all-weather wow. multifunction sports stadium, yes. features Manny Pacquiao, the champion of the world. An 18-hole golf course caters for any international tournaments. From low to high-rise residential units, ensuring each unit enjoys a unique view of the ocean and golf course, pushing new benchmarks for luxury living. Large-scale five-star healthcare and international education institutions provides a one-stop lifestyle heaven for modern living. Churches, temples, all together. Marina Yacht like Club that. integrated it's with great. an all-weather water park by it's the great. beach combining international competitions and destination tourism at the heart wow. of the Bay Area. Just stunning. Unbelievable. The new Manila Bay, City of Pearl, creates a smarter community. Wow. A revolutionary new benchmark for I urban love the living. buildings. 
placing the Philippines at the heart of today's global stage. The true pearl of Sana the Sana will be finished very soon, no? Groundbreaking was in 2017 as far as I remember, no? But let's have a look at the other video, okay? So that you can get some more ideas what this uh, city of pearl is really about. It's unbelievable, no? Okay guys, let's have a look at the other one. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to click that subscribe button and of course the bell button so you'll be notified when we have new videos for you. Ayan mga kaibigan, I am gonna take a look at another video about the future of the city of Manila. As you guys know, I love the city of Manila. Kanta talaga. But there's a lot of improvements that are gonna happen here and they're gonna happen soon and this is absolutely amazing. And it's all thanks to the new city government we have with Isco Moreno and of course Honey Lacuna is the vice mayor. Now, I reviewed already a couple of videos about the future and the plans of Manila, but I just found another one which again shows but I just found another one which shows a slightly different view or version of what the future of Manila could be. Now this one is called Manila's City of Pearl Mega Project. This is Manila, the capital of the Philippines. Okay. Wow. Yes, in the last few years, not these sky rises, it looks amazing. Uh, that is definitely from Metro Manila, no? I saw different, different places already. It's not actually the city of Manila. So we are the 10th fastest growing economy in the world. Oh, that's good. Well, our port is humongous, not North Harbor. Oh my God, it's so big. Well, I don't think we're gonna hit the growth rate this year because of the COVID shutdown, but uh, we're still growing though. We're still growing, that's good. It's great. Okay, well, this is Makati. Um, yeah, of our middle income, definitely growing. So people will earn more, which is great. They spend more, they can buy more things like houses, cars, condominiums, no? consumer goods. But guys, don't overspend the man. Now be reasonable, okay? So let's see what's happening here. Uh, yes, we have a lack of infrastructure. That's true. Traffic jams, absolutely. We need better transit. Oppo, sure, on a month, talaga, well, they're talking a lot about making all these bike lanes right now, especially on Etza. I think that's a very good idea. Oh, here we have uh, old Jones. Yeah, there's Jones Bridge down there. I can see the Matra Filipina uh, in the back, I think. No, I yeah, the Manila city is being revived. But that's great. Introducing a new city as beautiful as the paradise. Okay. Well, let's hope that's going to be true, huh? But I Looking from the plants, it looks nice. What is this? Pearl of the Orient. It's based on it, okay? Based on its rich history, culture, enduring spirit according to the developers. Where's this gonna be? I haven't seen this one before. It looks something like uh, Dubai, no? So many tall buildings, islands, houses. Okay. Guys, let's have a look at some more, please. This must be in Manila Bay somewhere. So they're gonna reclaim this land, so it's gonna take some years before it's gonna be built for sure, no? Okay, oh, that's bes beside the North Harbor. I see that Paseco, North Harbor, no? Oh, Pasig River coming out here. So it's gonna be a city, a new city basically, features a seven island design, symbolizing the expanding shell Revealing the hidden pearl in the middle. Okay. Wow, those are some tall buildings, huh? So this is part of the city of Manila, no? I wonder if this is approved already, huh? Amazing, huh? It looks great. In the future of the Philippines, a new frontier that the country truly deserves and would be the international benchmark for all developing countries to create social mobility, sustainable and smart city, and a brighter future. Wow, have you guys seen how many tall buildings there are here? That's a lot. 
So there must be thousands and thousands of families living in this area. Okay guys, this is definitely not a project that will be finished in 5 or 10 years. This is definitely a development that would take a long time. But hey, even if it takes 20 years, it's also fine. I mean, look at BGC. When I first came here, there was nothing in, in the fort, no? After a few years, they, they just slowly started developing it. Okay, so this is in the heart of the, Mila, of the city of Manila. Close to a million people. I told you it's going to be thousands and thousands of families. So there's going to be a million people living here. There are going to be offices, residencies. Of course, shopping malls, you know, and everything is going to be there. Wow, a million people. Can you imagine that? But I like the buildings, I like the design, no? New Manila Bay will also feature a central business district with other offerings such as residential, retail entertainment, infrastructure, medical, education, sports, and other supporting facilities, huh? I like that they have this big green area. We need more greens, no? We really need green areas in Manila so that the city will breathe, no? I hope they will make a lot of uh, bicycle lanes, walk, areas oh like this no this looks a bit like a mall or something so with a green area up there so it will also feature a central park an integrated uh, 18 hole golf course next to the river and then a 10 kilometer open waterfront promenade we're gonna have a church we're gonna have a temple so let's let's embrace all the religions i'm uh, hoping they will also put a mosque or something like that maybe a, you know some embrace everybody that's what the city of Manila is really all about if you guys listen to uh, Mayor Isco Moreno is always talking about Bandai Bandai no everybody's the same and everybody should live together no oh I love the waterfront look at that you can actually walk on the promenade just like Rojas Boulevard in the golden days no in the old days so it's gonna be a smart and sustainable city did I just see a Pac-Man Stadium there Okay, I don't know why they are showing us something from Thailand there. But maybe it's just to show us what it could look like. Okay, so it's a Filipino company, UAA Kinming Group Development. Partners from other Southeast Asian countries, China, Europe and other places. 407.42 hectares. I haven't heard about that company before. I, I like the design. I'm just not sure are these exactly the same as canina or is it just because we see it from another site no it looks so futuristic no it's like unbelievable it will feature an 8000 seat multi-purpose stadium for international sports and entertainment events and of course an exhibition convention center which is up to international standards so is this really just a private project that would be Wow, wonderful. I mean, just absolutely wonderful if this could really be built. I wonder if this has been approved. I need to do some research as soon as the COVID-19 lockdown is over. Oh yeah, there's Pac-Man, no? the Pac-Man Stadium. Okay, so it's gonna be one of the biggest smart cities in the world. Wow. So it's a partnership between the city of Manila and a private consortium okay wow that's a that's a futuristic and modern design of a stadium huh and they look at the bridge no i've seen a bridge like this in similar to this in, in, in china no uh, they, they look so good so it'll be developed in seven phases and the first phase will be targeted to be completed over the next three years wow that means to say like in just three years we're already gonna see some of this happening I'm, I'm flabbergasted, honestly, guys. Grabe, ang ganda talaga. Sana totoo naman yun, no? Okay, it began in 2017. It's expected to be completed by 2035. Okay, if it's already begun. I, I haven't seen that. I wonder where this is. It began in 2017. So this is the residential area, it looks like, no? It's very similar to the cities they're building, those big cities they're building, mega cities in China, no? It's the city 
that the people of the Philippines truly deserve. Yes, absolutely. Let's have modern, livable cities where everybody can enjoy life. I cannot even count how many tall buildings there are there, no? Grabe. That's, that's a tall building there. I think I heard about this before. I, I'm going to do some more research on this, guys, and see what I can find out. Huh. City of Pearl Mega Project. Okay, guys, wait, I'm just going to stop this for a second. Guys, so this is just a part of Manila, no? near to the North Harbor. So it's not the revival of the old Manila, Bago Yuna. No? And I, I think for me, oh, it looks like it's uh, some reclamation area it's being built on, which could be absolutely amazing, fantastic, great. Guys, I will do a little bit more research and see what I can find out. And until then, please leave some comments below. Tell me what would you like to see in the city of Manila? What are the improvements that should be done in the city of Manila? And what are the great things that has already been done in the city of Manila? Okay, guys, so until next time, I'll see you again. This is Andres. Thank you so much for watching and don't forget to click that subscribe button and of course the bell button so you'll be notified when we have new videos for you.